Hey y'all, are y'all ready to paint some fun, bright sunflowers? So what we're gonna need to start is a canvas, acrylic paint, modeling paste, and brushes and palette knives. We're going to start with the ocean's green for our background. I'm using a one inch flat brush and I'm just going to lay a thin layer down to start with. You'll notice I have your color palette listed at the bottom. We're going to first start with the brilliant red and deep yellow and then the deep yellow and the raw sienna to start with our petals for our sunflower. And you'll want to mix those with the modeling paste as well for the texture. Try practicing on a scrap piece of paper with your palette knife to see which one feels most comfortable for you. And so we're going to start with that raw sienna and deep yellow mix and apply it to your palette knife and then just start going around in a circle where you would want your sunflower petals to be. Here I am taking a mix of the deep yellow and white and laying it very lightly over that raw sienna and deep yellow mix. I'm using the multi-angular palette knife here. And you just want to kind of give it a light touch so that it slowly blends in with the color underneath. On this one, I used the smaller palette knife and I started with the raw sienna deep yellow mix and then went into the brilliant red deep yellow. And then slowly into the deep yellow and white mixture. Now, if you feel comfortable with your palette knife, you can kind of add a little bit of a curve to the end of your petals, like I did on this one. Here I have the half inch flat brush and I am dipping it straight into the raw umber and I am just gonna go around the edges there first and kind of wipe up some of that wet paint from the yellow and raw sienna from our petals. And then you wanna brush that off and then you're gonna take that brush and just kind of start dabbing that brown, the raw umber color into the center of your flower. And some of the yellow is going to be on your brush and that's okay because we're going to want to highlight that in the center. So now I'm taking that plastic palette knife and I'm going in with the modeling paste and some of the raw sienna at first and I'm just going to start kind of scrolling that around and dabbing at it in the middle of our flower and then once I get that kind of textured and how I like it to look I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow in as well so you'll see if you kind of just keep dabbing at it and pulling up that molding paste and it will slowly dry and give it that textured look. So then we're going to want to take that lemon yellow and mix it with the molding paste and probably a little bit of white depending on how light. And you can see here as we slowly start adding a little bit of that color in, it brightens up our painting. But if the world was in, then you'd come over right. If the world 
So let me know if you have any questions. You can head over to my website and add your email to my email list to keep in the loop with what's coming up. And I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thanks, guys.